Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. So, last week, I announced that the van is officially for sale. As of um, when I'm filming this, I don't know if things are gonna change by the time you actually see this video, but as of the time that I'm filming, this van still hasn't sold, So, but we're also still in transit to Kentucky, so nobody's actually been able to look at her yet. But we're currently on our way to Indianapolis to actually look at our first um, prospective new home. So we're gonna take you guys along and bring you on this journey with us because this is a huge 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 step in our journey um not only as a couple but just as full-time travelers because we finally get to build our dream home for the three of us so i'm super excited to take you on this journey of hunting for our new home i don't know if we're gonna find it in this video but it'll be fun for you to kind of see what the van looking process is like if you are interested in doing van life for yourself. Currently experiencing a bathroom break at a pilot station, so that's fun. This one's just chilling, waiting for Jared to get back. What you doing, bud? That's your favorite place? All right, so we've made it to this dealership in Indianapolis. Um, we're not really sure what's gonna happen today. Um, we haven't really even discussed what is gonna happen if we end up liking what we see. We're just kind of taking everything one step at a time, but we're gonna go in and see what the deal is. All right, so that was an interesting experience. It was kind of nice to stand in an empty van. Um, but we, we looked at uh, the Mercedes and we looked at a bus and I don't think either of them are really meant for us. Um, the Mercedes was a bit more expensive, but uh, Jared inspected the entire body of the van and seemed to have quite a bit of rust on it. Um, the bus would have been good, but we don't really want to do a bus because of the gas mileage issue, because they get pretty low gas mileage. So I think this was just like the start of um, this journey and trying to figure out what is going to be best for us. We definitely don't want to settle on something um, and just make a rash decision. So I'm glad we stopped here because we were stopping, we were going to be passing through uh, Indianapolis no matter what to get to Jared's parents in Kentucky, which is where we're going to head now. But yeah. What are your thoughts? Oh, it's uh, backward again. Uh, yeah, I mean, with the Mercedes, it was uh, rusted underneath, and then they, which is a, a com it's a common tactic in the Midwest to just spray over the rust with like a bed liner or like rubberized paint to just cover it up and make it look like it's okay, and then you like can push your finger through it, and it just falls apart. Um, so that's a tip for all yeah, of you looking for vans. The, the body had like four hundred thousand miles, so it was. Yeah, even though the engine was replaced. Yeah, the engine had like 130,000, but the body wasn't looking too good. Yeah. And then that, what was it, just a passenger the, the it was shuttle like, bus thing. Yeah, shuttle bus. Yeah, it was a little, uh, there's a lot going on. <laughs> it would have been a lot pieces. more work. Yeah, but like once you look at like those buses up close, there's like so many like pieces on the body. Like there's so many yeah. gaps and stuff. Yeah, we don't yeah. really want to deal with leaks. Another leak situation. Yeah. 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 But yeah, so those are just kind of some tips for those of you who are also kind of looking at vans right now. Um, just things to kind of look at and think about and don't be afraid keep in to, mind. Don't be afraid to crawl around on the ground and poke at stuff. Yeah. It helps in the long run. Yeah. Okay, my battery's gonna die, so I'll see you when we get to Jared's cat. All right, what's up everybody? Uh, I am in the back of Jared's brother's car. He wanted to come with us to look at vans today. And we just stopped by and looked at one and it was just, had so many external issues. Um, we didn't even bother looking at the inside. So we're on our way to look at a different one. We looked at one yesterday that would have been good if it wasn't super overpriced. Um, it's really easy to get discouraged because a lot of people are doing van life now and a lot of the ones that look really good are getting snatched up before we can even commit to making the five hour drive that it would take to go and even look at the van. Um, but we will end up finding one and I'll let you know how the next one ends up going. All right, so we just looked at another van and it had so many issues. It was definitely not worth what it was listed for. They said they would go as low as 12, but I don't really think it was worth more than 10. 
um because there was so many issues like the check engine light was on and everything but i'm gonna have jared tell you what was wrong with it um because he knows more than i do yeah so whenever you show up to look at a vehicle you gotta crawl under that thing and start looking around poking at things yeah i mean <laughs> uh the rear differential on the vehicle it was like dripping a little bit so and then the uh the whole exhaust was rusted out so that would have had to been replaced check engine light was check on check engine light was on <laughs> <Their> <laughs> light was busted. yeah the, the like rear tail light was busted the uh like the side door wouldn't open from the inside as jonah found out jonah yeah. was there really was like, i didn't even know that i knew the driver's side door wouldn't stay open yeah, yeah. So. Not worth 14. No, not worth 14. <laughs> Are you a sleepy buddy? <laughs> All right, guys. So just a little bit of a break in between uh, van shopping. Uh, my buyer, the new owner of Sequoia, is on her way. Um, so I'm about to sign over the papers to her, which is... I've been so anxious the whole day. Hi, Jared. Hi. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been super anxious the entire day because we still don't have a new van, but we are going to go on a bit of a road trip tomorrow um, to look at some that look very promising. But let me just show you what empty Sequoia looks like. So yeah pretty crazy um thing that is really cool though is that it is actually one of my instagram followers who bought her so um it's somebody who's kind of been following the story and i just know that this van is not done taking people on adventures um just wasn't working for all three of us anymore and i'm really excited to start building hopefully in the next video but we'll see if tomorrow works out all right, good morning, everybody. Uh, clearly, I'm back in the car. It wouldn't be a Hallie's Wandering Soul vlog without a little bit of travel. We are heading back to an area that we actually just came from uh, and going to the Chicago area today where there are a lot of vans and one that looks extremely promising. So, we're gonna, of course, take you guys along for the journey. We have uh, Jonah, Jared's brother here with us today who just wanted to take a little road trip. We've got Lassen in the back seat with me. Um, and I'm waiting for the boys to get back from the bathroom <laughs> at a pilot station right now. But, um, yesterday I signed over Sequoia to her new owner. Um, which was really weird and I got like no sleep last night because it just felt too weird um, but I'm so excited to get to start this new journey and this new build and this new project and take you guys with me um, this is really gonna be an adventure unlike any other that you've seen on this channel before and I'm just really excited to be able to finally create a house that like actually works for all three of us me Lassen and Jared um because my van was really meant for just me okay so bit of a frustrating disappointing afternoon um we found a van that would have been absolutely perfect but a little bit of a sketchy situation the dealer like didn't have a blank title for us to fill out um and he kept changing his story we just didn't feel comfortable giving him a large amount of money without getting the title in return so he's ordering the title and will give us a call if it gets there before we find another van but we're heading to um what i i just got off the phone with them it seems like they're a cargo van dealer so we're gonna go check out a couple more vans while we're still in the chicago area um and see if we end up bringing one home today. But I'm gonna let Jared tell you more about the situation. Uh, yeah, so it was a uh, 2015 uh, Transit high top diesel. Uh, really good engine on it. But yeah, it was just it was kind of sketchy. Uh, I don't know. The, the, they didn't have the, I don't know, like the, the first thing they said was they couldn't get the title out of the bank and then the second guy came over and said that the title was full and they had to order a new one 
but the van had been there for like 22 days. So. That's why it was there for 22 days. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, just super sketchy situation and then once we were like we don't want to get this unless you guys have the title they they kind of kind of got bully bullyish they kind of bullied a little bit yeah they were they're like how mean. bad of a like situation have you been in with the title I'm like it's yeah the title, they're like dude. they're like are you guys traumatized from a past experience and I'm like uh, no this is just weird and they kind of got frustrated so uh, Kind of sketchy and the, it had been power washed out like the floor under like the it was uh wet. it was wet under the uh like the cargo matting matting in the back and the guy said that the previous owner had power washed the inside of the van and jonah assumed that maybe somebody was murdered in there <laughs> and that's probably that could that could be that could be a plausible reason maybe All right, so I definitely brought my camera the other day and didn't film at all, but I have a surprise for you guys. Ta-da! It's our new house. Let me show you inside. Jared has already ripped up the floor, so sorry I didn't get to show you guys that process, but very clean on the inside. Yeah, sorry I didn't tell you guys <laughs> right when it happened. It was like the longest day ever. We drove all the way back up to Chicago to pick it up. Um, all in one day so <laughs> now the build begins um we're starting right away because we want to get back on the road as soon as we can but it's a 2013 mercedes sprinter 2500 it's the 170 extended wheelbase uh so it's a mansion compared to sequoia <laughs> this step of the build called uh, what's the step of the build called uh clean up <laughs> prep, prep. No, oh, there's not a lot of rust. Yeah, it's super clean. I'm glad. I, this is the first time I've seen the floor. Actually, I haven't been out here. Yeah, I mean on the actual surface of the floor, it's good. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's the only interior rust I've found. Yeah. Teeny bit. Yeah, it's clean. Yeah. Pretty clean. A lot of pens. Pens. Free pens. Another one. <laughs> But anyway, I think I'm gonna let you guys go here. Um, I really just wanted to um, finish this vlog on a happy note. I was supposed to post it last week and I just like couldn't bring myself to actually sit in front of Premiere and edit a video that I knew didn't end well. So that's why you're getting this this week, but super exciting. So next week is gonna be our first build video and I can't wait to take you guys along for the ride. We're gonna go and maybe get some insulation today, place some orders for stuff for the electric because we have to cut the holes for the fans. It'll be a whole process, but you're gonna see the whole thing. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure that you tell your friends. And if you guys are looking to do your own van build, make sure that you're following along. We're gonna be posting on here and on my Instagram at Holly's Wandering Soul. But yeah, that's about it. I'll let you guys go. Have a good day, everybody. Safe travels. Thank <laughs> you.